Hello, I'm Duncan Fraser, founding director of the charity Useful and Kind Unlimited. And I'm really thrilled today to be welcoming you, your school and your school community to be part of our Useful and Kind community. What are we trying to do at Useful and Kind? What we're trying to do is help you to build on the things you're already doing to create pro-social, useful and kind behaviour and leadership. Goodness knows the world really needs it right now, whether that be politically, economically, socially. And what we're trying to do is help individuals to work on and with themselves, to work with others and to help the world. And we have tested this. We've tested it in schools in the northeast of England and we have found that the most impactful question that you can ask of all the tools we trialled was the simple question, was that useful and kind? Now, as you're well aware, there's a ton of stuff out there at the moment about kindness and compassion and that's really important. But we believe that moving into social action is also really important. So I'd like you to think of Rosa Parks. Rosa Parks is sat there on the bus all those decades ago and she's asked to stand up. Now, if she knew then what we know now, she would know that she was angry. She'd know where that was located in her body. She'd feel empathy for the person asking her to stand up. Should she have stood up? Well, we at Useful and Kind believe not. We believe that if there's going to be profound change, that we need to act individually, collectively, and as society. Now, we're very conscious at the moment of how much you've all been through. The difficulties of the past months, on top of the normal difficulties and challenges and joys of running a school, of working with children, parents, leadership, governance and the wider community. And we have developed a model which we know is really helpful for behaviour change and we believe will make a huge difference to you, your school, the community and the world. And it's called the SO model. It's very simple. S stands for self, O for others and W for world. So, first of all, how can you be useful and kind to yourself? Physically, emotionally, spiritually, creatively, intellectually. How can you be useful and kind to others? With three different types of others. First of all, the easy ones. The ones you love and love you. It's not always easy to be useful and kind to them, but they're the easiest. The second group of others is those that are difficult to be useful and kind to. And we believe that that is where real change can happen. They might be difficult for a whole number of reasons. They weren't born like that. What's happened to them to make them difficult or challenging? And the third category of others is team, family, groups. There's a lot of psychological research, as we know, about how we perform in teams and groups. And we believe that it's really important to be useful and kind in those teams and groups. With your family, with the team you work with, whether it's in school or out. And the final W, of course, is world. How can I be useful and kind in the world, knowing that it's only me? But how can I make a difference that's profound. That idea of being a good ancestor. What are the implications of the decisions I make today, seven generations hence, as the Iroquois Indians invite us to think about? So, as part of your useful and kind journey as a school community, we're going to give you lots of resources and ideas and tools that will help you to develop that journey and progress towards being more pro-social. So I invite you to start with yourself. 
just think about the so model and think about how you can be useful and kind to yourself think physically just notice right now in the moment wherever you are whether in a staff meeting or watching this at home feel your breathing just have a sense of how shallow it is how deep it is and just lengthen the out breath notice your heartbeat if you can notice your temperature just have a sense of what's going on physically with all the stresses and strains. And then emotionally, notice how you are emotionally. How can you be useful and kind to yourself? Are you feeling sad at the loss of something? Are you feeling angry at the moment about something? Are you feeling fearful or scared? Or are you feeling joy? And where is that located? Just have a sense of that. So it's really important that we can look into ourselves because we can't help others and we can't help the world unless we've looked after ourselves. So today I invite you to look in with kind, sparkling eyes. Look in with acceptance and tenderness and grace of all you are trying to do with your loved ones, with those in your school community that you have the privilege and joy of working with, with those who are more challenging. Just look into the core of yourself and be grateful for all that you are doing for making the world a better place by being in it. It's so good to meet in this way and I look forward at some point to meeting you in person. And so I just invite you to join with us, join with the tools, there are plenty of tools, the so model, looking at yourself and join us and join the rest of the community on social media, on Insta, Twitter, Facebook and so on. So I'm really looking forward to helping and supporting you on your journey. Thanks so much for your time today. May you be well, happy and free from suffering. Thank you.